Uh, okay, and what about the technical side of Bitcoin in terms of people becoming their own distributor of this? Yeah, yeah. So, so as you can imagine, um, some and the reason that it, it's taken this long to have this kind of thing is because there's a couple things that had to fall into place. First of all, of course, we needed the internet, and of course, we've had that for a little while now, which allows, you know, you know, most of the, well, maybe not most, but a lot percentage of the population of the world to, to communicate and exchange information. So we needed that. And then we also needed peer-to-peer -peer technology, and that is having a technology that isn't centrally controlled in any one place. So, so we've got that now. And then the third part of what makes Bitcoin work is what's called cryptography. And cryptography is what makes it secure that allows us to place our trust in what's going on with it, allows us to believe it. Uh, and the role of cryptography in Bitcoin is what prevents what's called double spending. Okay? Double spending is the problem of, of me uh, giving you 50 of my Bitcoins and then immediately turning around and giving the same 50 Bitcoins to somebody else. I've double spent those those uh, those Bitcoins. And Which course, usually leads to inflation with well, with currencies no, actually, out there I, today. I mean, what, it, what it does, I mean, much much worse than, than inflation, what it does is it, it, for a virtual currency where it's super easy to sort of, because it's just bits, right? I can hand a couple of bits to you and there's no cost for me to hand bits to anybody else. That's the other thing about Bitcoin is that the transaction fees right now are almost zero and probably always will be almost zero. Okay, as opposed to, you know, every time you use your credit card, it says 3% for the merchant, or you do PayPal, and it's this percent and that percent. That's the one of the other wonderful, wonderful things and very disruptive things about Bitcoin. But um, in order for us to, um, to prevent double spending, there has to be a system that says, okay, I've just given you 50 Bitcoins and now I can't just give the same 50 Bitcoins to somebody else. And that's done using uh, cryptography. Okay, so when I, when I give 50 Bitcoins to you, what I'm really doing is I'm broadcasting out into this peer-to-peer -peer network saying, okay, this address has just transferred 50 of its credits to this address. And those addresses can be anonymous, and that's, that's where the anonymity comes in. But then in order to make sure that I can't turn around and give, also transfer 50 Bitcoins to some other address, Right? and double spend that, um, what happens is you have the, the computers that are uh, working on the Bitcoin system are verifying the transactions using this cryptography. 